Guys, did you know that WhatsApp has some pretty epic hidden features like sending messages to your friends in different fonts? When I found out some of these features, I was like, damn, that's cool. So I'm gonna show you guys seven useful hidden features that you can use on WhatsApp today. And if you know of any hidden features, let me know in the comment section, I'd love to see them. But guys, let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so first up, quick responses. In order to use quick responses in WhatsApp, all you need to do is go to memo or notes and type in all the quick responses you would like to have available. So here I'm just saying, hey cutie, I'm on my way home and sorry, just busy, we'll get back to you ASAP. Then all you do is you copy the text as you see me doing here. And once you copy the text, it automatically saves it in your clipboard. I'm not 100% sure if iPhone users have this clipboard function, but definitely Android users if I'm not mistaken. So then when you go into WhatsApp and you wanna send someone a quick message, you literally click on that clipboard item and there are your quick responses. You literally just select whichever one you want. It'll auto populate the text section and the bam, quick responses done. Next up is transferring media to your computer or to your phone. The first thing you're gonna do is click on those three little dot icons and select new group. Then just find a contact which you can easily add and easily remove. So once again, I used Mike here and I added him to the group. Then I just called my group transfer files. So I know that this group is literally for transferring files and created the group. Then once I had done that, I selected those three dots again. I went to group info and over there, I just basically deleted Mike out of the group. So all that's left is me in this group. So once that's done, you grab your computer and open up WhatsApp desktop. If you're not sure how to do this, I'll have another video of mine linked in the card so you can check it out. But you go onto WhatsApp, you open up that group and simply attach whatever you wanna transfer. So it can be documents, it can be pictures or audio files. So as you can see here, I'm just selecting this Nokia picture and the bam, it's on my desktop. I simply drag and drop it onto my desktop and it's saved. You can also then do it vice versa where you just grab a picture, drag it into WhatsApp, send, and it'll automatically pop up on your phone and it'll save into your gallery. I love that trick so much and I use it a lot. Now this one, guys, I didn't know for so long. And one of my friends told me about it. I thought it was amazing. So did you know that when you're in public and you want to listen to a voice note, but you don't want everyone else around you to hear it, all you do is you click play and lift it up to your ear and WhatsApp will automatically play it through the earpiece and no one else will be able to hear the voice note. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> Haley, I got this really dirty joke. This guy walks into a... <laughs> Pretty nifty. Okay, now this one is not really a hidden feature, but it's something a lot of people don't know, and that is read receipts. So say you're in a group with a bunch of people and you send out a message. If you actually hold down on your message that you sent and you click that info icon at the top there, you can actually see who within the group has read or not read your message. As you can see here, I'm selecting this one, selecting the info icon, and both my mom and dad have read the message that I sent. So another really awesome hidden feature is sending WhatsApp messages via Google Assistant. And this is really useful for if you're driving or maybe you've got shopping in your hands or maybe you're holding a baby. Let me show you. Okay, Google, send a WhatsApp. Who do you want a message? Mike. What's the message? Hey Mike, please bring me some coffee. I got, hey Mike, please bring me some coffee. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Sending message. And yeah, it'll send the message through WhatsApp. How awesome is that, guys? Yeah. Ooh, thank you, dear. <laughs> One of my previous videos, I went through this bold and italics function. Basically, if you ever want to do bold, italics will strike through text. You have to go and select special characters, but there is a much easier way to do this. 
all you do is you type out whatever it is you want. You select it as you see I'm doing here. Then you click on those three dots to the right hand side. Then you can see the options for bold, italic, strike through or monospace are there and you simply select whichever one you want. What you also may not have known is you can do all options on a piece of text. So you can bold it, italics it, monospace it and strike it through if you want. You don't just have one option, you can do all four. And then finally guys, did you know you can use different fonts within WhatsApp? All you do is you go to Google and look up Lingo Jam. It's basically a fancy text generator. Then over here you type in whatever you'd like to say. So I just said, that's so funny. And as you can see, a bunch of different text options come up. I really like the look of this one. So I selected it as you see here and just clicked copy. And then as I'm sure you know, it'll save to your clipboard or you can simply hold down and paste. Then it'll paste your message in that cool font and you can send. Here is an example of an invitation I made using a bunch of different fonts. Um, again, I just copied it, it saved to my clipboard, and then yeah, I pasted it in the text section, sent it through, then you'll have an awesome looking message that's super unique and I'm sure a lot of people will ask, how did you do that? <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and also check out my other WhatsApp tips, tricks and hacks video. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!